Hey Spartans, I'm Tessa. And I'm Jana. And welcome, welcome to, to the, the first Spartan, Spartan Outlook, Outlook of, of the year. year. Happy New Year, everybody. Since most people make New Year's resolutions, we thought we would start off the show with Jack, Jake, and Jeremiah going around the school to get students' hopes and goals for the year. Today we're interviewing students and asking them what their New Year's resolutions are. My New Year's resolution is to get better grades. My New Year's resolution is to get rid of toxic people in my life, because my life is about me now, you know? And I want to be able to love myself by the end of this year. My New Year's resolution is to uh, be, become a better drawer. Yeah, that's pretty much it. My New Year's resolution is to get a 4.0 or higher this ending semester and to start off the beginning semester of my junior year with a 4.0. My uh, New Year's resolution is to at least pass all my classes. <laughs> to read 50 books by the end of the year, possibly more. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> oh, I hope to uh, accomplish world domination. Nice. It's good to have some goals to strive for. Yeah, and speaking of goals, I want to see more movies. Oh really? Well, looks like you're in luck because Aaron has a list of the top 10 most anticipated movies of 2018. Let's check it out. This is the year for movie sequels. Join us as we count down our top 10 new movies of 2018. Coming in at number 10 is A Wrinkle in Time, which adapts the award-winning book by Madeline Le Ingle into a cinematic piece of art, releasing to theaters on March 9th. Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet, takes the ninth spot as our favorite video game characters travel from classic arcade games and move to explore the world of the internet, coming to theaters on November 21st. Taking number 8, the Jurassic World saga continues with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Fallen Kingdom hits theaters on June 22nd. Placing in 7th is Aquaman, where Jason Momoa version of this character is caught between a surface world and his home of Atlantis. Aquaman is set to release on December 21st. In 6th place, J.K. Rowling continues the pre-Harry Potter wizarding world with Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Our favorite wizarding friends of the 1920s hit theaters on November 16th. The Marvel Cinematic Universe focuses on the fan-favorite character from Captain America Civil War, Black Panther. Black Panther takes 5th place and hits theaters on February 16th. Taking 4th, Lucasfilm and Disney continue to expand the Star Wars universe and anthology series with Solo, A Star Wars Story. This movie, which focuses on the fan-favorite character Han Solo, releases to theaters on May 25th. Taking 3rd place, our favorite Merc with a Mouth continues his story in Deadpool 2, which hits theaters on May 18th of this year. In 2nd place, almost 15 years after the original, the Incredibles 2 finally fills on the next events in our favorite animated heroes' lives on June 15th of 2018. Coming in as the most anticipated film of 2018 is Avengers Infinity War, which accumulates all that has happened in the last 10 years of Marvel movies which started with Iron Man in 2008. The Avengers are set to begin their war with Thanos on May 4th, 2018. I don't think I've ever been more excited to see some movies in my life. Yeah, especially since The Incredibles 2 is coming out and that is such a childhood favorite. Yeah, me too. Up next is a subject near and dear to our hearts. Student IDs. Everyone has a strong opinion about them, but it's important to hear both sides of the story so that people can get the facts and make an educated decision. Savannah and Orion interviewed a couple of students and our principal, Mr. Gardner, to get some different viewpoints. Let's take a look. Hey Spartans, welcome to 2018. I hope you all had a fantastic winter break. But now let's take a minute to talk about Doherty's most controversial topic, the ID policy. We asked you guys what you thought of the new ID policy. The new ID policy is, I don't, I'm not really for it because I feel like they're being too strict. And uh, if you, I mean, if you have something Doherty on, I feel like you should be able to walk in and if people know you, you shouldn't have to really like be checked every single time you walk in and out of school? Um, how I feel about the new ID policy, I think it's probably one of those necessary things and I think it's probably being made a bigger deal than it should be. I don't think it's that big of a deal to just have to wear one. I think they're just making sure we're safe. We also sat down with the principal, Mr. Gardner, to get the administration's reasons for the new policy. Basically, in response to last fall's events, we had a couple unfortunate situations. Um, one of the things in collaborating with, with security, 
with teachers, with, with my administrative team, just the idea that we didn't always know who was coming in and out of our building. Whether you like the new ID policy or not, we can all agree it's around for the long haul. I can understand where people are coming from. Same, but it was cool hearing different sides and there are definitely some points to consider. Although IDs are important, it's now time to lighten up the show with a fun event that's coming up soon. Brianna and Skyly have all the information about it. So are you ready for winter formal this year? <laughs> yep, I'm pretty excited. Do you know what you're going to wear yet? No, not yet, but I need to go shopping. Me too, we should go together so we can plan a date. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, that sounds good. Hmm. Winter formal. That means I have to find something to wear. Ooh, man, these are expensive. Hey, what are you shopping for? Winter formal dresses. Didn't you know? This year it's winter flannel instead of winter formal. All you need is jeans and a flannel to attend. Really? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hope to see you there, man. Mm -hmm. Winter formal is now being transformed into winter flannel. Please come out and join us January 27th from 8 to 11 p.m. here at Doherty High School. Ticket sales start January 22nd, costing $15 a person at the business office Monday through Friday and $20 at the door if you're a little late. The attire this year is just regular flannels and jeans, so please come out and join us for the fun. Wow, Tessa, that was a really creative way to get the information out about winter formal. I mean flannel. Thanks, Shanna. I'm excited to go. I hope to see all of you there, too. Oh, and they'll have free pancakes. Cool, pancakes. This next piece I'm excited for because we get to show you some of what we do in video production other than the Spartan Outlook. Many people don't understand what video production is and what type of things we do in class. Yeah, I've even heard some people think we just review m movies all period, but we're actually the ones making the productions. We make a lot of videos as assignments, but no one really gets to see them, so I'm happy to introduce to you our new addition to the show, the video of the week. This video is by Garrison, which he calls Into the Unknown. Led through the mist by the milk light of moon, all that was lost is revealed. Our long bygone burdens mere echoes of the spring but where have we come and where shall we end if dreams can't come true then why not pretend how the gentle wind beckons through the leaves as autumn colors fall dancing in a swirl of golden memories the loveliest lies of That was really good. You can really see the time and dedication in that piece. Well, Sparta, that's it for this week's episode. We wish you all the best and a happy new year.